This conference will now be recorded. Hello, and welcome to bsdesolution.com. My name is Amit, and today we have an interesting example of Ruby script. I'm talking about this case for Oracle planning, and in this example, by using Ruby script, I'll teach you how to change substitution variable value. Okay, so I have an interesting requirement over here. Let me explain you. So I have a data form over here called compensation expenses. Now often what we do as part of monthly maintenance, we change the substitution variable value. Okay. But many of time, you know, the traditional way you change variable value, go to tools and change the value of the variable from tools. The variable value to be changed by end user, business users. How to achieve this? This can be done by using Groovy script. Let's see the requirement. So I have a compensation expenses where my business user can input various types of compensation expenses. And the month over here is the variable. Okay. Although you can use any variable, the code I've written, you can use any variable from any uh, from any queue. It is dynamic. When I run the rule, it prompts me three value. It asks me cube name, cube name, which is OEPFS, the name of the variable called current month and value of the variable. Right now, the current value is August. Now, the current value is September. I like to change it to June month. So I can dynamically change. See this. Once again, I run this rule and I change to June. Launch it from September. The value will be changed to June. And the same, see the value of the variable value changed. And the same, you can see it under application job log file. So go to application. I have also published the message jobs and there you can see the rule ran 18 seconds before and i can see the message over here the rule ran successfully the substitution variable called current month in an application epbcs has been changed from june to for june to june it was old value was june or june to july it could have been any value okay? it appeared the old value was june anyway whatever value was there it will change from the old value to new value okay now let's see how to do this job it will be done in three steps. Step first, uh, first I should create cube object. Huh? I'll create cube object, object reference. The step first, I'll create three user. Uh, I would like to prompt it, right? So to create three user prompts. First, cube name, so that I want to make it dynamic. Uh, variable name. Any variable, any value, variable value. Okay. Free runtime prompt. Free runtime prompt I already created just to save time. The go to rules, application rules. There's an optical action. Under action, go to variable designer. And there you can see the rule, the substitution variable has been created. For OEPFS cube. So these are the three variable names. Let us write the name of it. First variable name is called cube name is called sub var cube. Second is sub var name. Third one is sub var value. Yes, I've got three runtime prompt. We are going to read the value of these runtime prompt. Create three runtime prompt. Step two. Read runtime prompt value. And step three, read means to get the data. They get set and get two method. Get and set substitution variable value. So we read runtime prompt value and assign assign to string variable. String variable. Step get substitution variable value and then what I will do, then we like to print it and print it and then set forth substitution variable value. Okay, let's do this step by step. I'm going to create new rule. Over here, give some name. What do we like to give? I give a name, go right click, create. 
and name it for rule okay i already have this rule let me change the version rule change variable and let us follow step by step so step first i am going to read the value from the runtime prompt change this from designer view to script view script editor and the default mode is calc calc script i'm going to change it to groovy script so my engine the code to be processed by groovy script not by airspace okay. runtime prompt runtime prompt i read three variable variable value Okay, so first I create a string object, string variable. First is called cube name, runtime prompt, dot entered value. To read the runtime prompt value, we write entered value. And uh, put the name of the variable and then enter name of the prompt and entered value. This is the first prompt. Enter value and same thing I am going to do it for other cube name variable name and variable value the var name and var value Okay, next step I'm going to create a cube object. We need the cube object for a reference purpose. Operation class dot application dot get cube. The cube name over here, which is actually already read from a variable called cube name, string variable. Then I'm going to check the variable exists or not. Otherwise, it will throw me runtime error. We use operation operation dot application has substitution as substitution variable the variable name so variable name is var name this is going to be boolean value true and false If this happen i'm going to read the value else i'm going to throw an exception so first we need the old value this i i'm going to use in a in a in a print message so operation dot dot old value variable have i haven't created yet i should create that string old value assign no value to this so we use old value application dot operation dot application dot get substitution variable value substitution variable substitution variable Name of substitution variable is var name. If the variable doesn't exist, it will throw me an error message. Okay. And the value would be assigned variable value. And this will be assigned to old value. All right. Next, I'm going to set. Substitution variable set substitution variable. So let's set the substitution variable value set substitution variable. Variable value it takes two argument variable name and variable value. 
वेरिएबल वैल्यू All right. Then I'm going to display. Uh, then I'm going to display a true or print message. Okay. This conference will now be recorded. So next, I need, I'm supposed to add a cube object. Cube dot set substitution variable value. If everything go good, then I like to display message. Print message. Print talent. The cube, cube, name of the cube. Yeah. Variable value is variable old value change to new value. Then I pass variable name over here. Old and new variable. Old variable value. New variable value. You can give any custom message. I already done a message over here. That also you can publish a substitution variable name. It could be anything, right? Any custom message. Then, if the condition is false, what would you like to do? It. I throw an exception. So you can throw an exception. Else, go to else part. So throw exception. Exception. Message. There is no such Let's review the code. That one we read all the variable value, substitution variable, runtime prompt value, and we store in a string runtime variable value and then i create a cube object exists or not has substitution variable name of the variable then i read the old value operation to happen get substitution variable value and then get and set set value over here and now we are going to you know This conference will now be recorded. Hmm. Next, we are going to validate this. Save and validate. Line number 10, 10 has an error. Line 10. Okay, this, there is a space. Save and validate. Deploy this and rule and then we run it. You can run it directly from here or you can associate data form anything you wish. Okay. I'm going to associate with data form and show you how it works. So let's go to our data form deployment done successfully. Go to data form. The one we created. Under data. This is expenses. This is my data form. Click on add it. There's an option called associate business rule. You can run associate this business rule, the one I already created for the sake of testing. So mine is version 2. This is the one I created. You can run it on demand or you can run this automatically on save. I'm going to run it on demand. Click on save. Right. So right now the value is June. Now I like to change the value of the variable on the fly. One way, as I said, the traditional way, you can go to tools and change substitution variable values from there. Alternatively, I run the rule from here and change variable value, change variable value. From June, I'm going to make it to July, right? First two argument I like to keep same cube name and variable name, only variable value I'm changing. Although you can change from any cube, any variable. This is a complete dynamic code. I make it from June to July. See, it is changed to July. That's it. Now look at our message. So go to application job and look at the log file. Application job. 
the variable the rule ran 14 seconds before and now you can see the message the substitution variable OEP current month for application EPBCS has been changed from June to July see so this is how dynamically you can change substitution variable value all my examples you can download from my BISP site or my YouTube channel this is a latest example and for all training and consultant requirement please feel free to reach out to BISP solutions and BISPtrainings.com should you have any question please feel free to reach out to BISP thank you